condition, which means syringomas can affect any type of skin on the right lower eyelid. These lesions are easily removed within one session with lasers or electrofoliation. Syringomas during their puberty or mainly after the puberty, and syringomas will be there all throughout your life. Sometimes happen after uh, your, your in, in your thirties and forties then they can actually normally, if they're not treated, In this video we're going to do a readout of the page called Syringomas Don't Discriminate from our website. If you have syringomas, do not think you are alone. Syringoma is a color blind benign skin condition, which means syringomas can affect any type of skin, Caucasians, Asians, Indians, Black, etc. Therefore, syringomas do not discriminate about race. On the other hand, it does not discriminate about age either, because people normally develop syringomas during their puberty, or mainly after the puberty, and syringomas will be there um, to stay unless they have been removed. That's not particularly true. Now, we found throughout this experience, I mean, this has been wrote, written, I think, in 2015, what we found is that syringoma happen after puberty or during puberty or just immediately after pu puberty. If not, then they can happen, happen all throughout your life. Sometimes they happen after uh, you're, you're in, in your thirties and forties. Then they can actually normally, if they're not treated, they will not stay there forever after maybe a a decade, they can actually disappear on their, own, on their own accord. So it's not as if you're 40, you start to have them, and by the time you're 60, you still have them. Very likely, even if you don't treat them, they're gonna go away on their own accord. In the picture below, a Caucasian with, a, um, with the typical cluster periorbital syringomas on the right lower eyelid. These lesions are easily removed within one session with lasers or electrofulguration. Now, in this picture, um, in this picture, it is possible to appreciate how the syringoma can spread in the whole periorbital region. These are lesions that can be difficult to disguise with makeup because they are raised. As we can see, when the periorbital syringomas are quite shallow and uh, it can be difficult to be concealed with makeup, periorbital syringomas on Asians. And this is all for this page, it's quite a short page. So thank you very much for watching this very brief video and should you have more questions, either go on our website or get in contact with us. Thank you for watching.